So here's the final uh, pollen feeder um, that I put together out of the inexpensive uh, two and a half gallon bucket that I got from uh, a bakery uh, where they used it for uh, icing. Just to give you a close up now to see what I've done with it. Um, I'm going to pull this tray out. You can see it's just nothing but a flat piece of light aluminum with the edges curled to match the inside of the bucket. So they're at a slight angle. Then I got two wood braces underneath that are nailed through from the top. Inside the bucket you'll see that I have two screw holes. Uh, that are slotted so I can just twist the bucket and the hole below is bigger and, and then the bucket just comes off the the board of the arbor so I can reposition it somewhere else or I can take it off to to clean it spray it out pressure wash it whatever this just slides back in and rather than put the pollen on top which I could do I think I'll just put a, a real shallow pan and I'll also put some down here and the weight of the pan, of course, will push down and keep the braces and the thing in place. This is facing um, away from the weather, which would be north, and away from the south and the west. So I'll probably twist it, dismount it, and take it in the house in the evening, or just put the lid on so I don't have to worry about... Uh, dampness and rain that sort of thing here's a side view I put a little bit of a, a block below the mounting right in here to make the, the angle of the bucket slightly elevated upwards so uh, the pollen will have substitute pollen will have more of a tendency to stay in rather than have it slope down and fall out so just a couple of adjustments and we'll see how it works. Uh, I'll take a picture when I get some pollen loaded, pollen loaded in there, pollen substitute so you can see how it works or doesn't work.